How's it going everybody? John McLennan here and in today's video I'm going to teach you how to play Get It On as recorded by T-Rex on guitar. This song starts off with a bluesy rhythm pattern on a low E chord, but it's not your typical blues rhythm pattern. The rhythm gets varied a little bit and it's a lot of fun to play. Then we're going to go into the chorus section where we play some big chords with eighth notes and distortion. I'm going to break it all down for you step by step. Before we dive into it though, I want to hook you up with something right away. At the first link down below, I've got a free tab sample pack, and these are some digital downloads. They're PDFs and guitar profiles that go along with lessons here on my YouTube channel. So if you get value out of just watching the videos, you're going to get so much more out of them being able to follow along with a good tab. So check that out at the first link down below. And with that said, let's break this song down. Let's break down how to play Get It On as recorded by T-Rex on guitar. We're going to start off on an 8-bar vamp on an E chord for our intro. And we're going to use a bluesy rhythm pattern, but we're going to make a little twist to the rhythm as opposed to your typical kind of blues shuffle. Here's what it sounds like. One, two, three, four. <laughs> So I'm starting out on the open E string and then the second fret of the fifth string. And we're going to be rocking back and forth between open two and then open four. So the first measure is going to go one and two and three and four and. So I'm using all downs with my strum hand and just going one and two and three and four and. I'm also applying some palm muting. So my palm is back here where the string and the bridge come together. I'm just getting more of that muted sound. So one and two and three and four and. Now there is a little bit of an accent. See, in a typical blues pattern, we do something like one and two and three and four and. Here we're going to put down that third finger on the fourth fret there on beat two. So one and two and three. Then we'll put it down on the and of three as well. So one and two and three and four and. Okay, and I'm hitting those notes with a little bit more of an accent when I place down that third finger. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. So it's two and then the and of three. And that's going to be our groove for the verse and whenever we're playing this kind of pattern throughout the song. So one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Okay, from there we go to the verse. And for the verse, we're going to play a six bar chord progression. Here's what it sounds like. One, two, three, four. Okay, so I'm playing a bar of E to a bar of A, and then again, bar of E, bar of A. Now I'll be applying that same rhythm pattern, right? One and two and three and four and, okay? But I'll be switching now from an E to an A, just back and forth. One and two and three and four and A and two and three and four and E, two and three and four and A, two and three and four and. Okay, then after that, we play two bars of just E. Here we're going one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. So all together, the verse is going to be played two times. So it's going to be a 12 bar chord progression. Here's what that sounds like. One and two and three and four and. Again. All 
All right, then we go to the chorus, and that's where the lyrics go. Get it on. Here's what it sounds like. One, two, three, four. All right, so what I played there was I went to a G bar chord on the third fret, and I'm playing three, five, five, four, three, three. And you can bar all the strings, or you could just do a power chord, like the lower strings. Could be three, five, five, or even just three, five will sound good. And we're gonna do one bar of G, then we're gonna move that up two frets. We'll go to the A chord. Now here we're gonna play an eighth note rhythm with this. So we'll go one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and... I'm doing all downs and if you want, you know, you could you could kick on some distortion like like hit a pedal and... Kind of rock out a little bit more there during the chorus. That's always a good idea. So here we're gonna play one and two and three and four and to A. Then we go back one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and we're gonna go back to that blues rhythm pattern for two bars, okay? Then we go back and we play G to A again. And then the rhythm pattern two and three and four and one and two and three and four and now the second time we stay on that E for two extra bars. So we'll go one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and then we go back and we repeat everything again back to the verse and the chorus and we're really just playing those two sections. So here's the chorus all of the chorus played as one piece. So just to recap, I'm gonna go G, A, then two bars of E with the rhythm pattern. Then again, G, A, then four bars of E with the rhythm pattern. Here we go. One and two and three and four and. Back to G. Have fun practicing Get It On as recorded by T-Rex. Make sure to rewind the video and go back and go over any parts that are unclear. Take your time with it, put it together, and then try and play it along with the recording. Before you go, don't forget to download my free tab sample pack at the first link down below. And this is gonna give you some digital downloads, some PDFs, and some guitar profiles that go along with lessons here on my YouTube channel. So check that out as my gift to you. Also, if you're interested in diving deeper with guitar, check out my website, johnmclennan.com. I've got a lot of great resources on there. If you got value out of today's video, hit the thumbs up button. Thanks for your support here on the channel, and we'll catch you in the next video.